The day's opening stage was the rally's second run through the 106km Ntulele test. Colin McRae clearly felt that he had to prove a point to Ravampera. That is how the later Colin McRae rode to victory in the 2002 World Rally Championship at the Safari Rally in Kenya in his Ford Focus. And six crest. 17. Six right over jump, keep in and over. And that is what inspired Afinia Skemadi to name his son after the World Rally Champion, hoping that he will follow in his footsteps. Into jump, 120. And right on track he is, as Mark Rekimadi has approved himself to be gifted a Ford Fiesta R3 rally car for the WRC Safari Rally as it returns home to his father's delight. It was a big force and it's also a lot of nostalgia because he was also my hero. I was named after him, so um, maybe we can do justice for it and get some results in the, in the Ford. Macre is the son of former rally driver Phineas Kemadi, who is now the CEO of the WRC Safari Rally Project, as well as the president of KMSF. I came from a, a rallying background family, so my dad was champion in his days. So it was straight away that was my main interest, to come into motorsport, and it's a very good opportunity that I have to come into motorsports at this particular age. When he failed to finish at the 2002 Safari Rally, Mark Ray vowed that he will one day make up for that, but first he had to learn the ropes of the game. The last time that it was held, I was quite small. Uh, my dad competed in that event, so we went to watch him. Unfortunately, he didn't finish that safari. It was quite tough. When I started, I was living in his shadow, but now I think I'm starting to get out of that shadow and chart my own uh, career path and write my own history. It's different because I'm sure he misses uh, driving. I'm sure he, once in a while he says he misses it. But now I, I think he's already been there, he's done it. So he's just, he's hoping for me that I can have the same success that he did in his heydays, which I'm also hoping and praying that one day I can also become champion like him. So that now we can be two champions in a family. <laughs> um, looking at the stars now that I'm not a spectator anymore, now I'm part of the competition, part of the the crews taking part i'm very excited and also just to see even the stars that you watch all the time you know, your, your heroes the world champion will be here so it's something i'm very excited to to see and to compete alongside them it will be very intense i'm, I'm sure everybody every local driver will be starstruck uh, they'll want to get an autograph you know once or twice ask ask a few questions here and there so but as long as we just concentrate on our race and we have fun then it will be a nice event who is, your, who is your hero? Whom do you look up to? Right now, it's the world champion, Sebastian Ogier. He's, my, he's the benchmark now. His star has shown up brightly since then to make it to the podium. I started rallying back in 2015. Uh, so I've been doing it for about three, four years actively. Um, right now is when I have now started to actually realize my potential and start to get to the top. And hopefully by 2022, 2023, I should be fighting for ch the championship. I did the 2019 candidate event. I was the youngest finisher. I've done the Equator Rally 2021. I was the first indigenous Kenyan. Um, I came eighth, I was in the top 10. And um, I finished fifth in the 2019 Mary Rally. So the next step now is to consistently be fighting for the top positions. I drive a Subaru uh, most of the time, but uh, I recently sold it to the new upcoming driver from Betika. So good luck to him. I hope he takes care of it and uh, gets results the same way the car has given me results. The 26-year-old was among the top 10 finishers in the grueling Equator Rally when it made its comeback in the Africa Rally Championship to the delight of his fans. Uh, it was a very good event. It was a very tough event. Uh, it was a two, three day event. This one will be slightly longer, a four day event. In terms of the weather, we are praying for rain because we encountered rain in the equator, so we know what to expect. But uh, anything can happen. Rain, come rain, come sunshine. Um, I think I'm comfortable driving on wet surfaces as of dry surfaces. So 
it was a challenge. It will be a challenge for the top uh, drivers, top teams, because they have never experienced anything like this before. So it will be interesting to see how they cope, but I'm sure they've done their homework. They'll, they'll be competitive. And we're hoping even us, we can be competitive. Sleeping Warrior it was very difficult. It was very rough. Kedong with the volcanic soil, it will be very, most cars are going to get stuck after some passage. But we've done it, we've, I've done Kedong for the last two years and I've done Sleeping Area for the last two years and I've managed to uh, maneuver from them. So I'm hoping with this new car, uh, we can be able to maneuver the same way we did with the old car. It will be co-driven by the experienced Hashamir Yusuf who came in handy for him when it mattered and together they look forward to another glorious outing. It's the competitive nature that we all have. Uh, we want to try and do our best. Every time I go into a rally, I want to try and do the best that I can. So that's my main uh, motivating factor and also getting a good result. That really motivates me. Especially we had very, uh, a very good result at um, the equator and it was the first time I sat with Shamir. So I was very pleased uh, with how the event went through. Uh, my navigator Shamir uh, Yusuf stepped in last minute for the equator rally. Uh, he's a very experienced navigator, has sat with lots of uh, drivers, lots of champions uh, in Kenya, in Uganda and in Tanzania. So he brings a lot of experience to the team and uh, with his wealth of experience he's able to calm me down. And, uh, mentor me on how we should pace ourselves to finish an event and get a possible good result. With such a combination of experience and youth, who can deny Makreke Madi an opportunity to become a great driver? Certainly no one, as the FIA detected the same to rob him in the FIA Rally Star team, where he's all ready for the challenge ahead. Uh, it's a very good opportunity. We are getting <coughs> support from M Sport Poland. To, to do this event. So we'll have uh, brand new Ford Fiestas, R3s. And um, it's a new car, I've never driven it before. It's a left hand, so it will be a new challenge for me. But I'm up for the challenge and um, we are so excited to, to form this part of uh, the FIA Resta Challenge. Be safe, um, come and enjoy the Safari Rally after 19 years from being away from the World Championship Series. Um, observe MOH and let's have a fun rally. Let's enjoy ourselves. Most importantly, let's have a fun and safe rally.